Next, I'm going to transition to M-Hub in Chicago. Hi, Haven. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's perhaps not that sunny and warm in Chicago as your background would fool us, but um, M-Hub is hot in Chicago. It is one of the leading innovation hubs, and it is a location where there are startup companies and industry colliding on especially new areas of industrial Internet of Things and new technologies and even creating new ways to fight the pandemic. Haven is the CEO of M-Hub, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about what M-Hub's all about and some of their new programs they're developing to help entrepreneurs through an accelerator and new programs to advance their companies. Thank, Thank you, you very much for the intro, Laura. Um, as Laura said, my name is Haven Allen. I'm CEO and co-founder of M-Hub. Uh, we're a three and a half year old organization that was launched uh, by industry and in partnership with the university to create a place-based asset to really lower costs and barriers of entry for hard tech and physical product entrepreneurs. Uh, that means giving them access to capital intensive equipment, networks, uh, technical and business and professional training uh, to access to industry. And through this and our strong connection with Illinois, um, you know, we've supported over 350 startups in the last three years with some great teams uh, that have spun straight out of the research part from Cash 21 to Psionic to OceanCom. Um, and, you know, teams are generally with us for 18 to 20. They're building out their product uh, and their market opportunity, getting their pilots and getting their seed investment. Um, but, you know, for to launch a physical product based company, the barriers have traditionally been much higher. And one of the ones that we've been really looking at uh, in the last year and a half is uh, the financial barriers of entry. And that's why M-Hub went out and raised um, a $15 million uh, fund to focus on really attacking that pre-seed gap for those hard tech investment, uh, hard tech startups. You know, right now, there's for every $15 that is getting invested in a, a digital specific company, there's, there's one in hard tech. And for us, you know, hard tech is that marriaging of hardware and that digital overlay to create new opportunities for capturing data, new in, insights, and, uh, and better informed uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, the Product Impact Fund. Um, we'll be deploying capital into 60 startups over the next three years. And we'll do so through uh, what would be a traditional accelerator program. Uh, you know, a six month intensive program where teams will have access to $980,000 of cash investment, um, as well as over $500,000 of direct support in designing, engineering their product, and additional program to build their businesses. You know, we'll take the teams on a journey through customer discovery, market validation, going through rapid prototyping and design for manufacturing, engage you directly in customer pilots with some of our, our corporate partners, such as Panduit, Abnet, and Baxter. Um, applications are open today for this first cohort, focus on the industrial internet of things and advanced manufacturing. This is a $700 billion market opportunity through now in 2025 that we're going to attack by really accelerating uh, the development of 10 teams. In April, we'll be launching our second cohort uh, set of applications focused on tackling the $850 billion market opportunity in med tech. And then later next year, uh, we're looking at energy tech followed by smart cities and smart mobilities. You know, we look uh, forward to continuing to foster our relationship with U of I. We believe uh, the teams that are coming out of uh, the universities, out of the research labs, are the exact types of teams that we're looking to throw all of our networks and resources behind to accelerate and get them uh, to market as quickly as possible. You know, we all know that um, the Midwest is uh, one of the largest manufacturing uh, epicenters in the entire world. It's the largest in the United States. 
in Illinois specifically, you know, it's a $100 billion market that uh, contributes over 500,000 jobs for our economy. There's huge opportunity to make impact, huge opportunity to lead the industri uh, fourth industrial revolution. And through partnerships between universities, industries, and centers like MHub, we can work and tackle that together. Um, I'd like to open it up if there's any questions specifically about MHub or the program um, and hope to work with many of you on the phone. So thank you very much, Laura, uh, for this opportunity. Thanks, Haven. So you mentioned the first cohort is gonna be Industrial Internet of Things. Tell us more about that. What qualifies indust as Industrial Internet of Things if a startup wants to participate? You know, it's it's a it's a broad category in, in our eyes, and um, you know we're we're seeing a lot of uh, support as everything from the connected worksite, the connected worker, automation, looking at um, greater visibility and, and more efficiency in transportation of goods, um, to just basic automation and robotics. So um, we're seeing lots of different opportunities, um, and you know. Things like Internet of Things, I know it's a new term. It's not new to industry. The machine to machine communication and automation has been going on for a long time. Um, but there, there are new opportunities with the advent of 5G, uh, the ability to communicate, cloud computing, the sort of collapse of pricing on parts and components that are just opening up a, a wide range of market opportunities within advanced manufacturing. Great. Well, we also wanted to touch on two other subjects with you. One is sure. just acknowledge that the M Hub hosted the Fourth Revolution Awards, and since I'm proudly sitting in front of you in orange and blue, I thought maybe you could acknowledge uh, a little bit of our our ties with that. We had some Illini entrepreneurs featured at your event, so congrats to Danny Gardner and to Adil Akhtar as examples. No, yeah, it's perfect. I mean, I think every year there's at least one or two University of Illinois um, team that wins one of the awards. And this year, um, Mesh Plus Plus with Danny Gardner winning the Rising Star, um, truly a company that is emerging, finding a market, um, taking advantage of disruptions like COVID to, to create new opportunities and just unlimited potential. And then you look at Psionic and the product that they've done uh, designed. Um, you're talking about impacting so many people's lives. So just a, two amazing companies. And then, you know, last year, I know we had Cash 21 as well win a, an award. So, you know, great work you all are doing. We're happy to, to continue to support these teams as they're going on their journeys. The last thing I thought I'd mention with MHUB is they played uh, an instrumental role in Chicago of bringing together entrepreneurs that were trying to address new technology or product needs for the pandemic. How did you work with Matter and other organizations to think about serving entrepreneurs and using the physical resources you have? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, definitely crazy times back in March. And, um, you know, between organizations like 1871, Matter, and MHUB, we collectively support about 1,000 startups, and I think it's somewhere around 3,000 innovators. And we wanted to tap in and use our resources to make as big of an impact as possible. And at MHub, that immediately meant, you know, putting together a couple different project teams uh, to develop ventilators. It meant um, creating air purifying respirators, uh, developing face shields and face masks, and all doing. Uh, Via open uh, open designs, and you know, one of our ventilators were picked up by Air Force and DARPA, so that project's catching legs. Uh, the face shields we made over twenty thousand of them, and uh, and over two hundred of those air purifying respirators for IEMA. And then beyond that, you know, we engaged uh, a bunch of public health officials, hospitals, and really tried to understand what were the broader tech needs that they that could enable. Uh, more efficient operations to respond to uh, this pandemic. And, and from that identified clearly nine problem statement areas throughout um, a challenge to our communities, had about 300 organizations raise their hands uh, to either pivot or create a response. And from their selected 22 uh, that were doing everything from rapid testing to creating PPE marketplaces to um, identifying new ways to sanitize 
um, air and water and surfaces. And it's, it's been amazing to see that go and, and continue to grow. Well, thanks for your work on that. And if you're interested in participating in the accelerator program or other activities that MHUB puts on, see the chat for the links and we'll catch you later, Haven. And we're gonna welcome Layla. Thank you very much, Lauren.